So for King John, back again with yet another time to beer review. The one I'm going to review just now is a Scottish beer. Scottish craft beer from the Harveston stable. And it's the uh, Well Top Gold 4.4 on the Richter scale for this bad boy. Harveston Breweries, uh, Scottish Brewers. Tasted some really, really nice brews from them. Uh, bitter and Twisted, quite like that. I love that one in cask. Uh, tasted old engine oil as well. Uh, and now I'm on to this one. I actually bought this one a while ago and I was drunk one night. I think it was about last year actually. And you know that way when you, you get into a session, you're just drinking, listening to some music or something, you just pick up a beer, you think, oh, that's for reviewing, and then you've got beers that you just, you just nurse a session on. Uh, at least I picked us up by mistake, so it took me a wee while to find it again. So anyway, here we go. Going into my glass, my William Brothers glass, uh, which I, I bought out of Valhalla's Goat before Minty's beer reviews puts a slanderous comments on this video. So here was the pour. Nice gold nail. Leave a little bit for the beagle to go in. So let's see what we can come up with. First thing you get nice and hoppy, zesty. Peppery note from it. It's a let's see what it is. It's a 4.4 in a Richter scale for this. I, d I don't know if I've mentioned that or not. It actually smells very, very delightful. Not to everyone's cup of tea, but then you go. I'll go again here. I've not tasted anything bad from Haverstons yet. So anyway, so fucking drunk drinking a Haverstons. Uh, Wild Hop Gold 4.4 in the right to scale. Slangeva. Oh, what grabs you about this beer right away is the pepper. A very peppery beer brew. Right over the tongue, it's peppery, and then you've got a little bit of zest at the back of it. Lemon zest, a little bit of cascade, very, very faint, which I like. I'm not a massive IPA fan. This is not an IPA to, to any extent, but it's got that little bit of uh, uh, IPA ness about it, and it's the pepperiness, uh, very peppery. It's like almost like if you just stuck out your tongue and someone put white pepper on your tongue. It's got it's not a sting, it's more of a what would you say a heavy aroma. It's not that's wrong. Aroma's up your nose, isn't it? Oh for goodness sake, I'm getting it wrong again. Very sessionable. Quite like this. I like the, the, the bitter and twisted. I probably like the bitter and twisted a wee bit more than this actually. But this is not that bad. This is nice for the time of year in the summer, coming into autumn. It's nice, it's peppery. If you don't like IPAs, you're going to enjoy this. Uh, I really do enjoy this. Wild Hop Gold. 4.4 in the Richter scale from the Harveston Stable. The Harveston Breweries. A lot of Americans out there and Canadians will recognise this. The old engine oil, uh, they were the same stable. It's very nice. You would like to say it's very clean cut, but it's not. It's got that lovely peppery taste. It's got a little bit, of, there is a little bit of hop in it, but uh, what I like about these beers is there's not major hop in it. Uh, it's not you're you're not gonna get smacked in the mouth with the taste. I might not appeal to a lot of people who like their their IPAs and their hoppy beers, uh, their hop heads as they call themselves. It's it is very pleasant. I quite like it. 
I do, for the simple reason, is I love pepper for a start, and, <laughs> and I dislike really hoppy beers. So anyway, I'll slap on the iPhone on one for a, a wee second or two and see what it says on the back of the bottle. Harvesting Brewery, multi-million million craft beer brewery, found in simple philosophy, uh, handmade uh, small batches using local water, our brewing team combined with finest Scottish hops, our own yeast, oh that's good to know, and carefully selected hops, flowers to create delicious and life uh, affirming beers, well top gold, an underlying background of earthy English hops uh, are overlaid by citrus and spicy aromas produced by the Citra and Simone hops that combined uh, produce a wild aroma refreshing golden ale. It's actually, it's quite nice. I, I quite like that. It's not for everyone's taste, but I quite like that one. It's very, very nice. It's what I like about it, it's a peppery, white peppery taste I'm getting from it. I'm getting that, I'm enjoying it. So anyway, so fucking drunk drinking the Harveston Wild Hop Gold. 4.4 on the Richter scale, so anyway, what am I going to give it? I'm going to give that, the Harveston Wild Hop Gold, 4.4 on the Richter scale, I'm going to give that a solid 7 out of 10. So anyway, if you've seen it, pick it up, try it. If you like it, you're, you're not going to get a wild fucking hop experience with this, but I'll tell you what you're going to get. A nice peppery, if you like your peppery beers, you're going to like this one. So anyway, if you like this one, give us a shout. If you try to give us a shout. And if not, so fucking drunk, I'll see you in another beer review. So anyway, at the end of the day, keep drinking good Scottish craft beers. Ciao for now. Catch you now, beer review.